Hey friends, uh, this is Nirmal from NirmalTV.com and today we'll have a look at a new launcher for uh, Android and it's called SPL Launcher. So Android has quite a lot of uh, launcher apps uh, available for free download. But what makes uh, SPL Launcher look different is that it brings the new iOS 7 uh, style to Android. So we all know that uh, Apple has uh, totally redesigned the uh, interface in uh, iOS 7 and with new icons, uh, new features, new lock screen and more. So this SPL Launcher brings the iOS 7 uh, style to Android phones. So we'll have a quick uh, look at uh, what's in offer for Android users from SPL Launcher. So um, basically this uh, app is a free tool and uh, it uh, brings the iOS 7 style to Android phones and it is a launcher app. So and also it has a lo uh, lock screen app uh, to support the launcher. So we'll review both the apps, both are free download from the Google Play Store. So first let's have a look at the lock screen. So as you can see here, uh, the lock screen it is pretty similar to what you have in iOS 7. You have the slide to unlock and you also have the uh, uh, branding and uh, branding of uh, uh, the carrier here. It's very similar to the iOS 7 and you have the battery information along with the Wi-Fi connected and you have the time and date and you have the slide to unlock option. So when I slide to here, it, uh, it opens the passcode since the phone is protected with passcode it opens the passcode mode so this is again very similar to iOS 7 so you have the numeric uh, numeric uh, keypad and uh, a circled uh, interface which is very similar to iOS 7 and if you uh, if you sc uh, scroll back you get the uh, lock screen so uh, so those are the options in the lock screen so you have the option to emergency call and then you can just cancel it and come back to the phone screen so now let's enter the passcode so now we are go now we are inside the home screen of uh, the launcher so as you can see it's uh, very similar to ios 7 icons uh, so you can see all the icons uh, it has replaced so by default it replaces all the um, default icons like phone messages uh, browser contacts uh, etc and it retains all the other icons from the apps but you can change these icons uh, from the interface that we'll see it later so as of now it looks uh, very similar and you can scroll uh, um, and see all the apps uh, and uh, uh, open the apps directly from the home screen so it's uh, pretty decent here there is no lag here so it's uh, pretty slick and it's responsive as well so there aren't any issues here so there are two options on the home screen uh, that is swiping from the bottom and swiping from the top so when you swipe from the bottom you can see the uh, options to quickly turn on wi-fi bluetooth uh, data brightness etc and also you can see the, all the apps which have been opened uh, uh, on your android phone and you can also uh, navigate them say if i select messages it will open the messaging app uh, so th those are the options um, here then if you swipe from the top you can see the search option here uh, so search is again uh, uh, inbuilt in this uh, launcher so if you just swipe down you can see the search and you can type it, type in uh, the so the search will uh, search uh, will search for contacts uh, uh, your uh, browse history apps and more so those those are uh, pretty good uh, features there so you can just cancel it in case you are just finished searching and you can return back to the home screen so those are the two options uh, on the home screen uh, then you have the uh, options to change the uh, uh, settings so, so you have the SPA hub here so SPA hub if I open the SPA hub you can see the themes uh, plugins uh, preferences and other notifications so in the preferences you have quite a lot of options you can search setting uh, you can set the settings for search uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can set the app to search in uh, different areas then uh, you have the icons and uh, layout phone and then you can see you can see the icon size number of rows number of columns in the launcher you can also set the phone size uh, tile uh, color for icons so those are the options there then you can then you can set uh, uh, icon sorting and backup uh, icon hiding and locking the icon then you have shortcuts, browser shortcut, widgets on taskbar. So you can also enable widgets uh, on this uh, launcher. So that's an again an added feature. 
so those are the preferences then you have uh, certain apps uh, which can be used uh, i mean certain apps which can be used with uh, this one so you have this uh, options available here that means spa dialer is there spa screen locker is there spa reminder and more so those those options you, you need to separately download then uh, then other options uh, for this uh, uh, launcher include uh, i mean grouping of uh, apps that means this feature is already available in android you can just group the icons uh, by just dragging on dropping on uh, other icons so that makes it a group say for example if you want all the social li apps like uh, facebook twitter uh, in one um, group you can just uh, drag and drop into one group and name it as a social uh, apps so this feature is already available in android and even in ios so again uh, say you here you can see an app, app hub so this has uh, some spr apps so similarly you can uh, you can create your own hub say right now if i want to create a hub just say hold uh, this icon and then drag on top of this so it creates a hub so you can see music and audio hub so if i just uh, delete it you can add your own uh, name to the hub uh, so that way you can easily create a hub then other options include uninstalling the app say so when i click and hold an app I mean, I need to, yeah, you can see, uh, you can in uninstall only the installed apps. So you, ca you can see right now here, the there is a uh, close button, uh, close button on top of each icon. And if you click the close button, it will uninstall the app. Say, for example, let me just uh, click this one. So when you click on uh, top of this uh, close button, it, uh, uh, it will ask you whether you want to uninstall the app. So let me just cancel it once again, then we'll just open it. Now other options include in, in this uh, current editing mode, if you click on the icon instead of the close button, you have the option to rename it, hide that uh, icon, you can lock that icon, you can change the de uh, design icon, uh, then uh, or you can design the icon, you can add a shortcut or comment on this app. So there are a lot of options for each app. So when you select the other app, you can uh, change uh, the settings for each app. So those are the pretty good options available here. And then uh, you have, uh, uh, you, when you come back, you just uh, hit the home button to come back to the um, home screen. Then you have also the settings for uh, lock screen. So lock screen settings are uh, different uh, from the app because uh, lock screen is separate app on this uh, on top of this uh, launcher so you'll have to go to the lo uh, lock screen to change the settings of lock lock screen so lock screen also has um, quite a lot of options so let's see what all the options in the lock screen then you, you can set a passcode there you can uh, protect your uh, home screen using uh, the default options available here so let's have a look at the lock screen so this is the SPS screen locker for iOS 7. So this is a separate app as I so said before. You need to install it separately on top of the launcher app. So now you can see I have enabled the screen locker. Then uh, system screen lock. Uh, this uh, will uh, enable you to, I mean this will uh, allow you to select the default uh, protection on your Android. So if you, in case you have uh, the face unlocker or the uh, pin entry, you can set it there. Then you can enable a battery percentage on the lock screen. Then you can set the device name, operator name, then unlock text. You can add a text there. You can uh, you can change the text. You can slide to unlock is the default one. You can change it. Then you can change the operator name. So those are the default values uh, taken from uh, the phone. Then you have uh, uh, option to upgrade to full version. There are more features there. Then uh, there is passcode uh, unlock. We, we have already shown this passcode. So in case you want to set it, you can uh, set the passcode uh, from here. Then uh, you can ac have camera access. Uh, then uh, you can also clear the default uh, uh, launcher. So those are the options. Uh, now let's uh, just go back to the lock screen and then see the options. So you can see the lock screen. So right now you have the battery percentage which I enabled here. Then you have the option to uh, open the camera. You have the slide to unlock, then the clock and the date along with uh, the uh, Wi-Fi icon along with uh, the uh, carrier branding. Then you have the passcode uh, unlock here. And uh, it is pretty, pretty uh, well built uh, app. It has all, almost all the features of uh, the original ios uh, lock screen so if i click on the um, camera button it will ask me to since i have multiple cameras it will ask me to open uh, which camera so just click always so you can see i have opened the camera from the lock screen
so I'll just uh, open it once again so you can see I can just flip it and open the camera but the problem with uh, this is the screen uh, uh, the screen lock uh, or the passcode and lock on uh, um, the default uh, app is uh, not secure you can just use the camera to unlock it so in case you are using this launcher we, we recommend you to use the default uh, passcode on uh, Android instead of using the passcode on uh, uh, the launcher since the launcher uh, passcode can be um, uh, bypassed using the camera app or you can if you want to use the uh, app passcode you need to disable the camera option so those are the options available and uh, it looks uh, pretty good and uh, responsive on android uh, we are using this on uh, the galaxy nexus running android 4.3 so and uh, so this is uh, pretty handy and uh, it does not have any issues Although there is slight lag uh, sometimes when you uh, navigate to the app uh, or click on the home button, but it's acceptable since it brings almost all the features of iOS 7 uh, UI onto Android and uh, it looks uh, pretty slick as well. And the app is free. There is the uh, option to buy the full version. I mean, you get uh, more options in the full version and you can uh, pay for it uh, from using the in-app purchase. So that's all. Uh, in case you have any queries or questions on uh, this app to post it in comments and we'll be glad to help you out and uh, you can try this uh, launcher on your um, android phone so that's all guys so thanks for watching the video